This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. Alright, so with the five cards you selected, I see that you selected your seventh house and your twelfth house. You must ask those two cards a question. You can't skip them, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, so with that being said, I'll take a little shuffling your card, say your first name or whatever you like to be called, so I can press. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna start with your fourth house, sixth house, relationship, subconscious mind, and your twelfth house. All right, let's start with your first card. Your first card is in your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and it's governed by the moon. Your fourth house represents your actual house and home where you live. It also represents uh, three people you allow to stay in your home via friends and family. In this house right here, you have Oya. Now having Oya in this house, she's kind of saying that she's kind of removing the peak. She, she's the reason people are leaving your house because they're no longer serving you. Now when I say they're no longer serving you, these are people that literally have died. Energy inside. So uh, from what she's showing me, is there anybody in your house who is like, just don't speak to you, ignores you? I mean, everything you say they 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 down to exhale all their breath and roll around on the ground like a tantrum kid. Literally my entire family. But if you want to break it down, my um, my siblings, my brother and sister. All right, she said. But we all live in the same house. Oh, so this is so this is basically the same town, etc. Yeah, you say that. Yeah, my brother, my brother. If it's just the same, cause my sister lives in Ireland, but my brother he lives in the same town and will literally ignore me because of you know things done in the past and I've called him out on it. All right, now with that being said, she say that he's gonna stop talking to you. Uh, or y'all say she just don't want you in their energy. It's already wrecking your oh. goddamn brain. So don't, so if he stop talking to you, he goes away, goes to the military. I mean, don't stress these people. She say he's too hung up on the past. And I don't know what you said to his ex-girlfriend or ex-wife, but it has something to do with a female that you guys was friends with and I guess you caused them to break up or you exposed his shit. But Spirit say, you know, dust his ass off and keep, don't worry about it. Now, it's been about two years, yeah. All right, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, what is the problem between my siblings? Like, what is their real, like, problem? Spirit, what are their problems? What's their problem with her? What are their problems with her? Spirit said, offer, teach. Offer, teach. What are their problems with her? What are their problems with her? Spirit said, offer, teach. Offer, teach. Spirit said, communication. Spirit said, floor prosperity. Offer, teach, communication, floor of prosperity. So this is that they feel like you're receiving everything or if you're in the picture around mom, dad, money, banking institution, it feel like that you will be, you will overstep them. You will receive everything before them. It's like a jealousy because they say everybody's always offering you something. Everybody wants to talk to you and run to you and you are over the money, you're over some finances, that energy. Okay, yeah. My, my mom passed in 2020 and I'm the baby, but I'm the one with the most sense, if that makes sense. Yeah, basically, mm -hmm. you got the most sense. So did she leave the money to you or? She left me the house. Okay. Here in, she left me the house here in America. There but we go. The, the, the land and the house in, out in the island for the split though, but there's one piece of property that's specifically mine. So it's like as big as like a football field. Mm -hmm. And that's mine, but and everyone knows, my dad knows, the entire family literally tells them, they know that my mom, late, my late mom said that that belongs to me. Then I have it. Yeah, that's, that's it. They, they, they've made, they've, they've gone as far as um, linking up with gangs make members to try to come and overtake this. Like I've had, I've had five lawyers and out there like it's been crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's all they doing. They just cause you got the money or the money was left to you. Wow, that's sad. I, that's why she say letting them people go about their business system. All right, okay. let's go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo when it's governed by 
Mercury. Your sixth house represents future economics, money, prosperity, and wealth. In this house right here, you have the water element in the upside down position. Now, spirit is saying you're, you're, the, the only thing that can rattle your chain is when they do fuck with your money. Spirit is saying this is the only thing that can rattle your chain, get you upset, and all that. Spirit wants you to stop allowing these people to get under your skin. This is your problem. You just keep allowing them to get under your skin. So this this house is not worth you dying for. This house is not worth them, you know, having somebody hurt your children if you got them. Spirit say stop letting me, this money thing control you. It's I grant it it's principle. Spirit say it ain't worth it. So what should I do? Oh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Spirit, what should she do concerning this house situation? And the Spirit, land and all of that. And Spirit, the house and the land. Spirit said health and healing. Spirit said travel. I got your spirit. Balance career and home life. Okay, why can't you uh, sell it? Why can't you go to the courthouse over there, right? The courthouse and sell it to the land. Sell it to the healthcare facility. Have them build a either an orphanage or a healthcare facility or plant. Oh, Baron, that's, that's crazy. That was the plan for the land. That's why my mom bought me the land. That has always been the plan. I wanted to build a hospital on that land. I'm a psychic. That has always been the plan, but that's what they're, they're, they're using black sources. Like, it's evil. 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 They're using black sources of magic to, to um, throw sickness on me, to hinder me from getting work. I spent two years no work. Wow. Over a thousand. I, I literally, like, if I would send you streets out of my, like, you know, the online zip recruiter, things like that. Yeah. Over a thousand applications. Anytime I get a, 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 a interview that's, like, it's promising, they never call back for the second interview. I spent two years, rent, and luckily, I, I, I've always been um, you know, um, financially responsible. Yeah. So I was able to rock out those two years on my bed. Spirit literally took me all the way to zero and has been rebuilding me back up since 2023. But I, I lost like my car in there. Brand new car. They sent, they sent evil witchcraft stuff, hell accident. Luckily, my life was spared. Damn, nasty people. Yeah, they gotta go. They gotta get out your life system. So, but yeah. yeah. My mom, my mm -hmm. mom was all I had, right? Right. Once he was out of the picture, literally, it was like I was standing on one side of the street and the entire family standing on the other side of the street again, and then you had those few that are in the middle. They, you know, they didn't take any sides. Yeah. But the, the, my, I lost when I lost my mom. I literally lost my entire family. The only people I have in my life currently are like family I chose. You know, friends, best friends, things like that. Right. Mm, I like this, but yeah. Uh, either way you look at it, you need to go and see. Can you get that hospital? If you can get anything done, you need to go and talk to the clinic, the land clinic, and see about selling the hospital, selling the land to the hospital. If not, build, if you can't build one, sell it to the government, you know, and have the government and basically pay pay your family off, pay them off. Once you so once you even though even though it's mine, give them their cut. Give them their cut. That's all they want. They can't develop the land. The land will go bad, and then the eminent domain to come in and they'll take it. Cause the only thing you take is two murders that happen on the land. You got me? Not one murder, two. And if two murders happen, it's property of the state. Now, they, cause it's under investigation for 20 years. Cause guess what? A murder case statute of limitations run out every 20 years. So you got 40 fucking years on the land. Y'all dead. Now the state can have it. So yeah, buy them out. But like you said earlier, they're ignoring me, you know? They, I'm because not saying go through them. Uncle Go through the hospital, go through the government. You can bypass them. If you, if you talk to them, say, I got land I want to buy. They go and survey the land and they come up to you and they say, oh, it's a check. Then they say, well, it's three or four people involved. They're going to call all you guys down to the office and they're going to say, hey, all y'all want to sell this land to build a hospital. You sign, you sign, majority win. You don't have to go through them what Spirit telling you, okay? All right. Now we're going to go here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represent your relationship, the couple dating matrimony. Now, when it comes to your relationship, why are you on the fence about this guy? I'm not on the fence, but I'm on the fence. Ooh, Barry. <laughs> I'm not on the fence, right? Uh -huh. I, I'm 10 toes down with him. I, I, I'm rocking with him. Yeah. There's a, there's a challenge where we're in two different countries. Ah, that's the challenge. Because they said, listen to me good. Because they're saying, mm -hmm. You're kind of like saying, okay, while he's over there, I'm going to do my thing. 
you keep because that's the whole thing. I ain't know it was in a different country, but they kind of say, well, I'm not gonna wait for him, or I'm not gonna put up with his shit, or I'm not just gonna sit back and do nothing. Uh, and you're gonna do your thing because you feel like okay, you're wasting away before he comes to see you, or before y'all get together. So that's why I thought you guys was like you had something against him, but. The card says, five of earth upside down, you're no longer gonna pay attention to this shit, entertain it. You finna go out there and get you some, and you finna enjoy life, sis. What the hell, what that mean? If, the, if, if, this is, if this means if this is your husband, you finna go fuck some. Cause he in another country and you over here. If this is your boyfriend, you finna disavow his ass and enjoy your life. If you just like, okay, we phone buddies, kissing cousins, however you wanna look at it, you saying, okay, I'm finna be kissing other people too. Okay, my question is, is, okay, my question is that, can I ask a question? Yeah. With that, what you're saying, that is he faithful? Good question. Spirit, is he being faithful while he's in this other country? Be real. Spirit said, go now. Spirit said, meditation and pray on this right here. Spirit said, open your heart to love. Spirit said, go now, pray, and open your heart to love. Sister, don't be a fool. When the last time he flew over here and screwed you? Well, I flew over there in March. Ooh, that's three months ago. His dick ain't got hard since, huh? Oh, that's, you said something. Wait, 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 wait. Darren. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, so allegedly, allegedly, I'm going to have to be stopped. Allegedly, he, he, he also has the gift of what you have. Okay, so he's spiritual, so he's a powerful man. Women love powerful men. Uh -huh. So that's not, so there's, there's no faithfulness. Cause I, I'm not messing around. I, I'm, I'm, I didn't say you were messing. I, so I didn't say you was messing around. I say you want in your relationship. You say you finna get you some too. You got to start messing around. But no, yeah, he's not a faithful person, sweetie. So don't have him throwing spell work at me. Cause I swear he gonna run up against something he don't want to be fucked up with. <laughs> but he, he is not faithful. I mean, just think about it. What you gonna hold a man in prison? He in a whole nother country. Y'all see no, each other. No, but because right now, right. Uh -huh. Okay, my question is, what about what we're waiting on to get approved? Is, is that gonna happen? Now we can stay that. Now I would, I would gladly ask that question because I think you're gonna be in denial, spirit. What they're waiting on? Will this guy get approved, or they get approved for that situation? Spirit said persistence. Spirit said release tension. Spirit said find the blessing in your current situation. You have a long time to wait, sweetie. You can go ahead and not screw with nothing and wait on it. That's all you. Hmm. So you got a long time. They're hmm. not going to have this happen tomorrow. And there's nothing we can do. There's nothing. It's not, there's no spiritual blockings or anything. It's just, that, this is just bureaucracy. No spiritual hmm. blocks on it. This is bureaucracy. And he is from that country, right? Mm -hmm. So let me, let me just put something in perspective. I'm a man that grew up in Canada. My woman is in Florida. I was raised in Canada. My first girlfriend was in Canada. My brother's in Canada. Heartbreak in Canada. First time I lost my virginity in Canada. Everything that ever happened to me, the food, the women, the culture, everything that ever happened to me is in Canada. But my girlfriend is in Florida. I'm gonna see my girlfriend once every three months. Then I'm going back home to Canada. I supposed to be sustained when the lady I went to school with that was my first girlfriend pull up at the, at the corner store saying, hey, how you doing? No. You you know this man this is not a faithful situation he probably figured out that you're not faithful no matter what you say because you and your stomping ground so ain't nobody being crazy here spirit just say don't you sit up here and wait for that i mean when y'all come together y'all in the same house sure be very be very pleasant to each other but until then don't be foolish okay my, my, my question, my last question on that. Yeah, you got um, it, because we got to go to the next one. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. One more question there. Um, the girl that I had, when I went up there, there's somebody to text, and I, we, we had a whole staff meeting, and there's somebody to text, and I asked her about that. Is it with her? Spirit, is he screwing this chick that uh, they had a spat about? Spiritual laws of attraction. Is he screwing this chick that they had a spat about? Double up on her. Father, husband, brother, son. That's his woman. That's his woman there. You his woman when you come. Okay. She, she broke the rule. She wasn't supposed to even motherfucking conversate with him. He gave you respect. Don't get she it broke, twisted. She broke the rule? She broke the rule. When she is here, you don't exist. But she broke the rule. That's what he told her. Okay. All right. Let's go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind. What is you think about? Desire, want, and fear. In this house right here, 
you have Osha, I mean, uh, Osha Mayor. Uh, now having Osha Mayor in this house right here, he's like, he's basically like, you you want to have good information every time you call this person. Everywhere you, every time you call somebody, you you're looking for the best information to give them. It's like you want to tell them rainbows and sunshines are good. But Spirit is saying, why do you need to be the person to make everybody feel fucking good? Stop trying to save these people. So what that means? Start saying no? No, ain't nobody say start saying no. This is in your imagination. What Spirit said, when you call, you 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 haven't talked to me in two days. You'll call me and say, hey Baron, guess what? I won the lotto. Hey Baron, guess what? Something nice. You find the shit to come up with to say to people, to give them the good word, to make them like you, talk to you, and care. You don't need to be the hero. Spirit say, even when you call this guy, you're looking for some great news to talk to them about, or you think they'll get bored with you. Spirit say, you don't need to be the hero. Stop trying to make everybody feel good. If you're having a shitty day, I don't want to talk. Or if you got questions, hey, what the hell is this about? Stop overlooking stuff and trying to make everybody have a great day. You want to be mean? Want to practice being mean to the Baron? Tell me something. Tell me something about my ad. Tell, curse me out right quick. I don't mind. Get, let's, let's get you a jump. I can't, I, you can't. You can't with nobody. You can't with nobody. That's all they saying. Be tougher. Don't don't be mad. If somebody making you mad, don't laugh at all. Show them, man. My family, you you will be surprised. Everybody in like my circle will call me the mean person. Like they'll be like, she, she like if she don't like you, she's gonna let you know. She's gonna let you know if she don't like you. Yeah, if she it's don't like you, she gonna let you know. But at the same time, you liking every damn body. Why do you think they're saying if she don't like you, she gonna let you know. They not saying if she don't like you, they gonna let you know cause she bitchy all around. No. They say she nice and if she don't like it, you don't know it. But then you ain't never met nobody you ass in life or that you weren't trying to make feel good. So in that case, I have one question for you. Go ahead. I am in a city right now. Should I move to the city where I'm thinking about home? Spirit should she move to the city where I'm thinking about home? Should I stay here or? I got you. Spirit, should she move to Hattiesburg? Should I stay here or should I move to Hattiesburg? Should I stay here or should I move to Hattiesburg? I got you. Spirit, should she move to her desired city? Spirit said come out of the closet. Spirit said priority. Spirit said detach from drama. Yes. Come out of the closet. Stop being in that box. You know you can do better and feel better if you go to the new city. Okay. All right. All right. This is another card you're going to have to ask a question in, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go over here to your 12th house. This is your fifth card. Your 12th house is ruled by Pisces and is governed by Neptune. Your 12th house represents isolation, separation. It represents anything negative, just being too deep, dark, emotional in your feelings that energy. In this house right here, you have Obatala. Now having Obatala, he is just saying that the biggest thing for you is you have this thing where you just have to remain positive. You have this thing where you just have to make everybody like who you are. And they are saying, sister, you don't have to put up with nobody's shit. Your, what does that mean? Your big, okay, your biggest problem is you want everybody to be calm, kosher, cool, and collect around you. And if they not, you're going to do everything you can to make everybody okay. This shows with the land. Your family's trying to keep you from a land from doing something great, putting the hospital on it. And then you're like, well, I don't know. I just need to stay away. And now you're going to give up well, the land. Well, in that case, Bear, remember I told you, they, Spirit took me down to zero. I ain't had I ain't, I ain't it. I ain't have it. So you don't have it for what? Because anything. Like, imagine in one, imagine in one month, your mom who is your backbone, you lose your entire idea of what you had as a family. Your finances are in crisis. You lose your only transportation mode. You, you see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I literally got tripped down to zero. So even if I did have a plan, I have I have business plans like piled up, but I was tripped down to zero. So I'm literally starting over. So now that you're starting over, now that you're starting over, Obatala is saying your biggest issue with you starting over, you're trying to make everybody feel good. If you ain't got nothing, how the hell are you gonna help somebody else? This is the problem. I The pain points you got, I understand. But if you barely got it, they saying your biggest issue is you're trying to calm everybody else down. You're trying to make everybody else see clarity. You're trying to make get everybody on your side. You're, that's you. Spirit say, that's an enemy's issue. Hell, if they gonna move people out your life, let them bastards be moved. So, with me trying to please everybody. Exactly. Uh, Would you like to ask this card a question? I don't know how to give, I don't, have, I don't know how to ask a detailed question to that. I 
Um, what should I do? Okay, Spirit, Spirit, what should she do? Why, well, you said the biggest problem she got, she's trying to make everybody's life easier while her life is crumbling. She's just being a good person. What should she do, Spirit? Spirit said power of joy. Spirit said mother, wife, sister, daughter. Wow. Spirit said focus on your strength, on your strength. Spirit is basically just saying be a woman. Like, love, learn to love yourself. Power of joy, focus on yourself and enjoy life as a woman. Like, fuck the problem. Do what you gotta do. Sell the shit and ignore their phone calls until and only answer to the state if you're getting your land. If this dude is cheating on you and you wanna put him in his place, put his ass in his place and you go out there and get you somebody because what the fuck, y'all ain't together. Don't be crazy. Spirit say you just gotta do what you gotta do, live for you. Uh, power of joy, find the blessing in your current situation and mother, wife, sister, daughter. This is feminine energy. You doing everything you can for you. Not trying to make everybody feel good in their lifetime. So, okay, my question is for the week back. So, is this man not for me? Like, is this my husband? When he, when he already get together in the same country, is this my husband? Or is he just another one of them? Niggas? Spirit, if this man ever come here, will they be together? Is it they, should they be together? Will they be together? Spirit saying purification. Spirit said positive change. Spirit said, follow your heart. Yes, once he get here, he'll lock it down. But while he's not with you, don't you trust it. Don't you lock yourself down. He needs to be with you in your house, married to you, that energy. Right now, y'all supposed to be, okay, long distance relationship, doing this and doing that. No, no, do not play this game. Damn, damn, okay, <laughs> okay, no more. All right, how did you like your reading? You stress me. I love you. I trust you. Oh no. I thought you were gonna be like, I love him. I ain't going I nowhere. I'm, I'm very realistic. I'm very realistic. Oh no. Yes. I mean, like you see, I, I asked, I specifically asked about the person. You know what I'm saying? I, yes. I, it's like something you just want to say you know. So okay, you fine. I can rock with this. But yeah, I enjoy talking to you. How you been, sister, outside of the tarot? I've been okay. I've been rebuilding, like I said, rebuilding, trying to grow spiritually. I hear that. Yeah, I think that that hospital thing is gonna do you some good. If you need my personal advice or want my personal advice, I should say, I would say go behind their backs and kind of talk to the, the the medical staff or the building urban development, some kind of that project and tell them you have an idea for land and let them start going over the details and doing the surveys while they over there and stuff and let them come back and make your offer. Say that it's a sibling. We don't mind selling the land for hospital purposes, medical purposes, and let them come back and make you a deal because I'm telling you, it's only going to take okay. two bad crimes to happen on that area and they're going to open, leave their case open. No, but the land's not here in the state. It's in the island. That's what I'm saying. That's the same rule everywhere. Okay, okay. That's okay. just a so, law. But, okay, but the thing is, I, I have the papers. The papers are with me. I, I have the papers. So do what, they're just squatting on the land, living in a house or living in a shack, so. Oh, no, the land is just, like I said, it's, like, it's just a baseball field. They were trying to squat. They had already broke ground and everything to build a house. In that country, once you break ground and build something on it, you gotta go through a lengthy legal process to get them out. So they try to squat, but I, you know, I had all that shut down. But at the, now it's like trying to the right people to, to you know, get it going. The, the spirit just told you, let the government get it going. See, the thing is with this, and I'm gonna let you go. The thing is with this, you want the hospital to be in your name. You want the you want to be the medical director, the building director. Spirit is saying you're gonna have a hard choice fight with your family. But why don't you just sell okay. the property to the medical field? You're still getting the same thing, and you get some coin in your purse. Just tell them, hey, how about you name the land, name one of the patients' room, or name a building after my mom. Uh, you know, and that could be in the deal. Right. But you get them off your back. They removed out your life and you can go on and live and have some coin in your pocket. Then you can visit the medical facility all day long. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, I appreciate you so much. No problem, ma'am, and if you need to reach me, you know how. Okay, thank you. All right, have a go. Boy, when death happened in the family, people get crazy. It happened with me and my mama. I seen it with my mama and they, sis and they sisters. I mean, it happened with me and my brother when my mama passed. I seen it happen to my grandma children when she passed. 
And it seemed like that cycle don't ever stop. But this lady got, this lady got deed to a land and she, then they always wanted to build a hospital on it. And she trying to pay, instead of her paying the money to build a hospital, let them pay the money to build a hospital. And she walked away with a check. The hospital is still built. It's gonna happen for her too. So I'm gonna leave it right there. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust in you in the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So we'll try. I'm doing alright. How about you, sir? I am well. Let me stop by throwing some Florida water on my hands. Alright. All right. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe it rings zodiac signs and birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Ooh, ooh. You're gonna be doing your consultation. Yeah, we're gonna be doing your consultation, which means that you can ask as many questions as you need to within a lot of 30 minutes of uh, your reading. Uh, no question is a crazy question. Only thing I ask, if you do not ask about an Orisha or you do not ask about an ancestor, if they want to come through, they will. They, I got different readings for each one of those things, okay? All right. Uh, be open with the spirit and have fun. Let's rock with it. All right. All right. Uh, take a little bit shuffling your car. Say your first name or whatever you like to be called so I can pray on it. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right, talk to me. All right, I'm actually going backwards in my question. I feel like this is more important. Um, so my daughter is actually being attacked while she, and she told me about this. It's been months now, but she'll have scratches on her thighs and on her chest. And I'm like, where? I'm like, maybe it's your bedding or it's your clothes. And she was like, no, it's something in here that's scratching me. And I would be like, Jamil, what do you mean by that? And um, so uh, it said that, you know, she saw not here beings like running across her bed and things like that. So I'm worried because I'm like, what is causing you harm? What is in my house? Okay. That's the question you want to ask because you're asking that to your daughter. You haven't answered the spirit yet. Yeah, so how can I protect her? Spirit, how can she protect her baby girl? How can she protect her daughter? Spirit said, floor prosperity. Spirit say, listen. Okay, simple, that's it. Floor prosperity, listen and clear share your energy. Uh, this entity wants some money. A debt, not the, I think, I gotta think. This entity want a debt. So they just going around your daughter looking for a debt. Now I don't know if her father's living. I don't know, uh, it's a male energy that owes a debt to the spirit world and they're taking it on that baby. Now, how do you fix this? I gave you, I gave you the cure. I mean, I gave you the reason. How do you fix this? Get a mirror, a glass mirror, a uh, big one, buy a cheap one. Uh, one from Walmart, a little seven, eight dollar one. How big is this baby? Oh, she's a big girl. She's 16, but she's like five, five, and 200 pounds. Well, she can't sit on that mirror, can't she now? No. So can we get a big mirror so she can sit on, one that can lay flat, not no one like on your bedroom. Like you gotta take the mirror, lay it on the ground so it don't break so she can sit on it, on a flat surface, you know, so no pressure, not no carpet. She gotta go on, the mirror gotta lay flat and she gotta sit flat on it, all right? Now, I'm gonna need you to sprinkle salt around that mirror. Like sprinkle salt on the outside of that mirror. Now, when she sprinkle salt on the outside of that mirror, she's gonna have to wet her hands. I don't care if she wet her hands with her sweat, with her spit, I don't care. She's gonna, her hands are gonna have to be wet. And when she get up, she's gonna have to leave her right hand print and then the left hand print. If she get up with two hands, she can. You can't help her up. So she's gonna have to learn how to get up, stand up on herself in that salt rain. Once she do that, she's going to step over the salt line leaving her handprint, fingerprints, feet print, whatever, because she's not gonna have on shoes, on the mirror. You leave that mirror sitting on the ground for seven days, and then you take a whole nother bar, or a whole nother box of salt and cover up the fingerprints and shit like that on the mirror, and allow it to sit there for 24 hours. Whatever touching her will go away. She's trapping the thing. Okay. Now, if you ain't got no space in your house to do that, you better rent a hotel room for six, seven days. It could get pricey now. But that's what you gotta do. Leave that to space. We're good. All right, and she don't have to sit in it long. She can sit down in it 15 minutes. As long as them handprints and that salt rain, that thing was touching her, out of here. Gotcha. All right, you just got your readings worth. All right, all right. Um, I had uh, I had a dream the other day. 
Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Three women were braiding my hair. Three women were braiding my hair. That's a dream reading, woman. But go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's a dream reading. Oh, I didn't know that it was different. You done started. I'm sorry. You're supposed to ask questions. That was the well, no, I was gonna ask you what was it. Okay, so don't go into the detail of the dream because then I have to oh. dissect it. Just be like, hey, Baron, I dreamed about three women. What that represents? Some sharp, straight to the point. Okay. I can't ask it. Okay. So, what has dreamed about three women? Four. Spirit, what's going on with these three women in her dream? Reveal. X, X. What's going on? Release tension. Purification. Ah, oh, release tension. Purification. Uh, fertilization. I just saw eggs before I laid down the card. I saw eggs. So, uh, are you old enough to still give birth? Because if so, they trying to make you pregnant, darling. These like three women coming to clean out your uterus, clean out your fibroids, clean that area up. If there's a baby trying to be born. Yeah, so they, that probably would be true, but I had to say done, so that can't happen. Yeah, don't be so sure unless it got cut out. Gosh. If I if I tell you they they down there cleaning it up, because they, so I'm going to show you the vision. And you tell me what you think. Maybe I'm a little wrong. So they say that they look at like a, a bunch of eggs under, a, like sitting on top of a lot of green grass. And the, these women wearing all red and yellow and blue. Each one got on a different color and they're raking, like raking up the eggs under the shade of the canopy tree, like getting all the eggs in a cluster. And they saying, okay, we got to put these eggs, to, we got to make these eggs hatch. Translation, they trying to bring a baby in this world. That's what that's about. Well, Baron, I got my tools tied, burnt, snipped, and punched. Ain't nothing coming. Ain't nothing coming. I done seen a, I done seen a lady without a damn uterus burst out of child. So you can't tell me oh, nothing. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm pretty sure. I heard the story. That's why I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Or, or you say your daughter's 16? Yeah. Oh, what if she going to grow up and be a little, two, one more, two more years? She's sexually active. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. They're telling you what they mean. Okay, so my next question would be, should I move my family out of the country? I ain't got one. I, I, I'm not tired of spirit. I ain't got one of these questions in two years, three years. Spirit, should she move her family out of the country? It's tra damn, travel. You said the situation accurate, travel. Should she move them? energy healing? Yep, drink more water, old shoon. She says yes, but this is not just because you want to like fresh start. They saying you have to because everything around you is old mildew and moldy. I'm spending like an old wooden house. I don't know if that's where you live in like a, a ancestor house, but I don't like the smell of like old wood, you know. They say that old smell is around you, so moving is a refreshing start for you. So yes. Are there... Uh, I'm pretty sure they are because they're touching her. So what she sees, she's touching. No, no, no. I'm not my six year old, my two year old. He will stare in the dark. Okay. That, that's a, yeah, be more definite because I've been saying they yeah. touching her, she's seeing them. Okay. Uh, all right. Spirit, what about this two year old baby? Two year old baby. Is he, is he, is he visualizing them? Spirit say positive change. Spirit say balanced career and home life. Oh my lord. Positive change. Balanced career and home life. Stay focused. So is your son, uh, how can I, it ain't no proper way to say this. Uh, he doesn't have a uh, disability. That's the word. No. Okay. Listen to what they're saying. Positive change. Balanced career and home life. And stay focused. What he's looking at, he's looking at what's trying to heal him. Now, if you say he don't have no physical issues or no mental issue, so why is this entity trying to heal him? Okay, so recently I found out, well, he's not talking, he'll say a word, but he won't talk to the doctor to go to speech therapy. <laughs> and I've been putting it off, because I'm like, you know, he's going to talk when he's ready to go. <sighs> Wrong. So put it like this, that thing he stared at in the corner is giving him speech therapy. It's coaching him to talk. And you want to sit up here and deny, ain't nothing wrong with my baby. I'm the real deal now, y'all gonna believe in the Baron one day. Yeah, so that thing he's seeing is basically teaching him how to talk. So it's coaching him, say something, say these words, A, B, they like really coaching him. Let it happen. Let the boy play. Let the boy play with the spirit <laughs> until his ass run out that room. Ah! You better let him have fun with them imaginary people in his head. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm finna have you sit his ass on the mirror. Let that boy play. <laughs> <laughs> finna trap all that shit in that holler. Hell, I'm finna tell you, lay your ass on the mirror. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, the whole goddamn flow mirror die. Everybody hand prints and ass prints on there. They, they. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Um, okay, that's actually very good. Alright, so I uh, want to know if my father or any of uh, my past family members have been at my home or are in my home or are in my home. Spirit, is there any deceased people at her home right now? Spirit said trust. Spirit said fresh start. Spirit said peace offering the Buffalo woman. Trust, fresh start, and the Buffalo woman. They trying to get there, but there's an older woman stopping them, but she's saying she don't want a man. Now, one of the men that's trying to come in, he likes girls. Like, he likes to eyeball young girl, but this is like an uncle or something like that. Now, another relative that this older lady is stopping at the door. Matter of fact, she's just not stopping him at the door. What do you, so do you, do you have a little red thing on your porch? A red vase, a red plant pot, red potted something outside your front door on the balcony? Anything just like a pot red? I'm, I'm seeing the color red, burgundy at that energy. You can take a walk out there and look right now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually seeing my car staring at my house. Okay, is there any kind of potted plant? I'm looking at the color red. There are several potted plants. That's what I'm like. Hmm. Well, it could. It, maybe it's that orange color. You know that 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 orange color shit that we sit our pots in. But listen to me, good. Whatever you got planted in that pot, I need for you to plant some more of that, like in the front of your house and in the back of your house. This is what she's utilizing the energy. It should be dying right about now because she's utilizing the energy from that. She's feeding off the plant energy in that pot to keep those entities at bay that want to get in there and really mess with your children. But yeah, they trying to get in, but they can't. So whatever got in there prior is helpful, except for the 16 year old girl. We gonna trap that one. Baron bitch, you shouldn't have known I had nothing at my house. Stay your ass over there. <laughs> It's kind of crazy, like for everybody's ready in the house, the energy has changed, and I just told myself, I was like, I'm a woman, but I was like, I don't know if I'm going to stay here, and that night I was walking around to the island, so I found this one, and because I got rain over here in the field, all this stuff like that, so I'm like, why the fuck you going to stay in this, this turmoil commercial ass country when you go, go and live in paradise? I mean, motherfuckers just pick a coconut off a tree and drink it, get that paradise, I thought them people would pull over there, I went back home to Barbados, everybody looking good, healthy, no fat, the skin and the skin pretty, they jumping in the water, pulling out a lobster. The bitch, oh, I'm struggling, man. Yeah, yeah, all oh, right, let's just think about these kids. I feel like, I felt like I was being selfish. Like, I'm like, I was going to uproot them, and I'm opening them for my own fucking game, but it was like, no, it's for everybody. Like, I don't want y'all to get fucked up. They kids, they ain't got no fucking willpower yet. Selfish game, for y'all's selfish game. Hell, your game is their game. Get them kids out of there. Yeah, because I was like, I'm not going to waste my time and energy trying to figure out what the fuck they doing. Like, I'm going to figure it out myself. Like, I'm going to figure it out myself. Like, I'm going to figure it out myself. Mm-hmm. And there's been a lot of back and forth, and I try to make sure that I am not the problem. I'm usually a seven times. I know, but I don't know if I'm the problem right now, or if I'm just noticing that there is a problem. So, you, okay, and so, so you want to know if you're the problem in your relationship, or is he the problem because y'all just can't cut it loose? Yeah, and I'm the problem. Spirit, what's going on with her? What's going on with her? Is she the problem? In the relationship, why can't they cut? Why can't they get it together? Not cut it loose. Thank you, Spirit. Why can't they get it together? Who, who the aggressor here? Spirit said, take charge of the situation. Spirit say, father, husband, brother, son. Spirit say, power of joy. Wow. So the the reason why you can't get it together, it is not you, is that he's taking this whole thing as a joke. If I could come back and screw my old lady and then haul lad, come back and screw my old lady when I need an energy recharge in a booth. I'm going to be cool with that. This is fun time for me. That's what's going on. He the problem. He He's not trying to put his foot down. I'm pretty sure he say, hey, Emma, get your shit together. Let's rock this thing. Shut your mouth, baby. Let's do this. If he reinforce you like that, I bet you, okay, nigga, bitch, you, you, can t you can't tell me what to do until you can tell me what to do. But he, right. he's like, okay, cool. I just come over here, do what I got to do. Got the kids, leave, come back, do what I got to do. That type of shit. It's fun for him, so he's the problem, but he's not a bad guy. He's just 
enjoying itself. So I feel like there's a. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, trying to figure out how to work this way. So my ex followed up my oldest friend because we only have one together. We and him have had a. We haven't like we haven't messed around, but we always work with each other. Like there's always a comfort thing with me and him. Like it's like time got me like that, and I just really wish so I so was around for me. I could just like stop going to sleep like that kind of stuff. I want to be so comfortable. I can go to sleep and not. Worry when I go to work, be stressed when I go to sleep. And you think you gonna right. get that from your ex? That's usually what happens. But he don't sit up that so but he don't slide no cock up in. No, we haven't we haven't been here. What's your question? <laughs> so the question is <laughs> are my feelings for him the same as my feelings Spirit, if does she have valid love for this man? What's going on here? Is she still in love with this man or what? What's going on with this feeling? Spirit say health and healing. Spirit said persistence. Spirit said find the blessing in your current situation. You are using this particular fella. You're using this person to make you feel good, to get your, okay, I'm gonna go roll in the sack with this dude and let him stress me out. Then I'm gonna go over here to this fella, health and healing, persistent because he's gonna always be there, you know that. And find the blessing in your current situation. You got a real friend. So you're using him just to cook, calm your nerve. So no, this is not love. This is not that shit, not plutonic friends. You need to allow that man to go on by the business. I figured that already. Just needed to get a little reassurance. That's all, you know. Baron, don't be talking to me like that. You know I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. You know, he followed my children. So that, that kind of love. I just need to know that that's all that was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we are cool. Oh, you know, I they don't know that actually answered a lot of what I had. Um, so, uh, That's it. I, I believe so. My mind is, I have all this stuff that comes. It, it takes a little while, usually for me to, you know, set things in. And there's so many things that I've processed. All right. Well, you know what I like to say. I think you I think you got your money worked out of this reading. You got the baby protected. You had some great questions to ask. So you good. So yeah, go ahead and process everything. Don't beat me up because I was a little stern with you. I, I, I'm good. No, I, I appreciate stern. I'm the kind of person that needs that. All right. But remember, check out that pot that's brown, red, or that kind of color, burnt orange, and pot some more plants out there because that energy of that lady is really protecting your household. Once you trap that other spirit that's messing with your daughter, you're going to have a very peaceful house. All right, darling. Well, you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. Yeah, of course. I really appreciate it. All right. Take care, sweetie. All right. Everybody, I know that was a little quick when she got in questions asked. I love that spell spirit gave her. He gave it to another lady a while back ago about two, three years ago to protect her grandbaby. I wish I get a follow up from that. But with that being said, this is what's gonna protect that 16 year old daughter. I did it with my 16 year old daughter, believe it or not. I let her do it and she okay. I had to get them demons off of You know what, maybe I should dress my baby girl in white and, and show y'all how to actually do it just for the try. We're gonna do it right for you, I do that. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So we'll try.